I'm going to show you how to get live on YouTube. And if you're absolutely new to streaming, then you might want to check out my Skillshare course. I'll put a link in the description and it will teach you how to start streaming if you don't have any experience. Uh, and you can also learn how to record content as well. But if you know how to use OBS and set up scenes and be ready to stream, I'm going to show you how to do that on YouTube. All right, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to show you really quickly how this is done. So if you're on YouTube and you're logged into your channel, you can go up here to the top with this little create button, click that and click go live. If you're in the YouTube studio by clicking your profile and going to YouTube studio, you can also do it there. You can click up here at create and go live, or you can click this little go live button right here. They all take you to the same place and they ask you a question right off the bat. Are you going to stream right now? Or are you going to stream at a later date? What's really cool about saying you're going to stream at a later date is you can upload a thumbnail. It'll have the actual URL of where the stream is going to be. So you can share that in advance and you can basically set a time that if they visit the link, we'll have a countdown timer showing how long until you go live. So if you know you're going to go live at a specific date or time, then uh, you can actually schedule. But if you just want to get ready to go live now, you click right now, click start. And what's cute here is that YouTube will actually just allow you to stream from the browser with a webcam. Uh, but really this video is geared towards people who are using a streaming software like OBS. Uh, so you'll go to streaming software and you'll click go. And this is basically your mission control of your stream on the YouTube side. This is like your creator dashboard. And uh, it'll see, you have a little preview here that's waiting for a signal from your OBS. If you want to edit, uh, the just early information that people will see, you click edit here and you can give your stream a title. You can enter in your description in customization. You can turn the chat on or off if you want chatters. If you want to limit your stream to just your subscribers, you can do that. And if your channel is monetized, you can go into monetization and you can turn that on if you like. Your chat is also going to be here on the right. So when you're live, you can talk to your chat. Now, the things that streamers are normally looking for here is the stream key. We can find that right here and you can click copy and now it's copied to your clipboard so you can paste it in OBS. Just remember guys, don't show your stream key when you're live in your stream or to anyone you don't trust because that gives them access to stream on your channel without even needing to be logged in to your YouTube channel. So super private information. Now your stream latency is normal latency or low latency. If you have low latency selected, then that's basically saying that you want your interaction with chat to be faster. You want to be able to ask them a question, have them reply in the chat and have that interaction happen as quickly as possible. If you're not too concerned about that, you can use normal latency. Sometimes it actually helps the stream just behave more stable, less buffering and loading and things like that. Now, if you want to increase the delay, you can go to add a delay here and you can choose to add 30 seconds or a minute delay to your stream. And then if you want your stream to be available to rewatch after you go offline, then that happens by default. But if you want to turn that off so that you can then do other things with that replay before making it public again, or maybe edit the whole thing and publish it as an edited version, then you use this toggle here for unlist live replay. Once stream ends, you turn that on and then it's going to be unlisted once you go offline and you can do what you want to do. Okay. So now let's connect OBS with YouTube. Remember again, stream key over here, click copy. So it's on your clipboard and now we'll go to OBS. All right. So we got my scene set up and all that stuff. And like I said, if you don't know how to stream, check out my Skillshare course or any of my other videos on my YouTube channel here, and you'll find all kinds of instructions on how to use OBS. We'll go into settings. We'll go to stream, click the service, and you can go to YouTube, paste your stream key in there and click apply and okay. And then when you're ready, click start streaming. You can then go back to your YouTube interface. And now you'll see that you're live. Analytics is going to show you all kinds of great information. Viewer activity might show people that might donate. Uh, stream health will give you an idea of how stable your connection is uh, with your stream or if you run into any issues and when, which is kind of cool. And uh, there you go. And when you're done streaming, you'll just click end stream, confirm it, and that's it. You've done it. Stream to YouTube. And if you want to find that stream after you're offline, 
Just go into YouTube Studio and click Content. Then click the Live tab, and there's your stream. And you can edit it and work with it just like you would any other uploaded content. And there you go. That's how to stream on YouTube. And if you're interested in streaming to more than one platform at the same time, I made a video on how to use a great uh, site called Restreamio. So link in the description. Go and check that out. If this video was useful to you, um, the best thing you can do is hit the subscribe button because that just tells me that if my subscriber account continues to grow, that means I'm doing the right thing and I should keep making more videos. So uh, please consider doing that or at least giving it a like and I will see you guys later. Bye. Welcome and thanks for calling the R in Hawaii YouTube hotline. In a few words, tell us what you're calling about. You can say things like, my stream won't start or how did you do that thing with your webcam? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Press zero to reach an operator who can assist you.